Is that record? It's recording. Good evening, Aunt Trey and Uncle Mike. It's 10 off 7. We're waiting, we're waiting for you to come. So I thought I just want to start and we're just going to go around the room so you can see how everything is before you walk in. Trey, here's your son in law, Phil. Yeah, wait a minute. Let me get a good go picture. Wait. Go ahead. Ready? Go ahead. Yeah. Woo! We're enjoying the food, Aunt Trey, before you actually come. Let me scan my dress. What? Woo! And this is the. No, let it, come on, come on in. Don't come in front of the camera. Don't worry about it. We, yes, please. You're friends of ours. Come on. Live at the 50th wedding anniversary of Mike and Teresa. All right, all right get, get out of the all way. All right, get out of the way. Let me get the table. Here, Aunt Trey, here's the whole table. This is hard. And to... I'm back again. Oh, Frank. Oh, so would you please? It's hard. It's hard. I, I never looked in the camera this way. I'm it's used easier to, that way. I'm used to putting my eye on the screen. Well, put your eye. I'll be back. I'll be back. There's the seal. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, there's the grandkids. Next week we might have a baby there. Hey, here's the grassos with baby grassos. <laughs> and here's Mary Frances and here's Vinny. You want to say something to Grandma and Grandpa? Hello. Happy anniversary, everyone. And be joyful. There's Mary Ann. Let me see. Who the fuck? Girls. Chris. Say hello. Suffering and pain. <laughs> and there's Big Joe. Hey, how you doing, Michelle? <laughs> Is that you? Yep. Here's to my mother and father. Stand back, Jeff. <laughs> Go ahead, say something. Here's to my mother and father. Good night. Uh. <laughs> hi, Don. Hi, Liz. Hi, I'm just getting, get. I'm getting the room before she comes in. Okay, great for them to come Let in. Let her see the action. Please, she'll be here with the place for a few minutes. My brother needs Once a purple heart for me. Please go to the front of the room with along you. with yeah, the song sheet yeah, so we have them ready for when they walk in. I don't know. Shall we go? I don't know. My brother needs a purple heart. <laughs> All right, X-Ray. We're all waiting for you to come, X-Ray. Yeah, it's on. You're right here, everybody. Hey, We're all waiting for you. We can't wait. <laughs> we can't wait. We can't wait. Hey, Mr. Mike, can you say something? All right, X-Ray. Now I'm going to turn off because we're waiting for you to come in, Phil. It's on. Michelle. Yes. Don't worry about it. Whatever job you do, it's going to be good. All right. Now you can shut the camera. Oh, okay. Great. We're still waiting. Yeah. What? Do I have a fire drill? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, no. <laughs> And then we'll say, no, 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 we'll yeah, see. Yeah, well, I got them with the camera, though. Got him? No. Hey. No, no, come on. 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 Bill, don't jump up.
Come on, get the groom! I am shocked. I I I I I can drop that right now. You're not gonna wait this stuff, are you? Don't wait this stuff. We'll go home and get changed. Come on, we'll take you home. She took my coat, I got my camera in the coat. Yeah, I think you should with your back to me. Okay, before you turn around though, okay, one second, Ed. Teresa, Michael, before you turn around, uh, your parents tried to, your parents, oh my God. Your children, your children tried to uh, prepare something special for you and uh, to express their true feelings and this is what, this is what we came up with. Mr. Mrs. Cavallaro, if you can now take the dance floor, take the dance floor for this your special song.
Let's hear it, gang. Big round of applause. Okay, at this time, if everyone can now kindly begin, if everyone can take their seats. Okay, Teresa, Michael, your children would like to, uh, they have prepared a toast for you this evening, so go to your table. And if uh, we could please have a... Mommy and Daddy, we all have something that we wanted to say to you, so we thought the best would be to just each do it individually. Mom and Dad, how do I tell the two... How do I tell two of the most important people in my life how I feel about them? How do I tell them how proud I am of who they are and what they've accomplished? I've thought about this for a long time, and I realize that what I say every day is thank you, God, for giving me a wonderful mother and father. You have given me the love, guidance, encouragement, and most of all, the freedom to shape my life make my own decisions, and grow as an individual. Mom and Dad, you are God's wonderful gift to me, and I thank you for everything. In one of my favorite poems, Elizabeth Barrett Browning asked, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I would say to you, how do I love thee? I can never count the ways, for they are infinite. Next. She was always the A student, I was the mediocre. Okay, Mom. <laughs> All right. Mom, Mom and Dad, short and sweet. Dear Mom and Dad, there are no words to describe the happy life and memories that you gave us. May God be with you and bless you. May you, have, may you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Mom, I love you with all my heart. And Dad, you'll always be my sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> Am I in the way yet? All right, Mom and Dad, from your favorite child. Uh, I want everybody to know that I have the best parents in the whole wide world. And I had the greatest childhood. From me and Marie coming over for coffee into the novenas, and Connie calling 10 times a day, and Angie coming over for breakfast, and my mother say, don't mind the table, Angie. <laughs> Uncle Buddy eating with us, making ice creams and waffle, and the best New Year's Eve at Angie Gallows. Mm -hmm. They were the best memories that I ever had. I didn't even mind sleeping with all Grandpa's wives. <laughs> And Dad, today I still believe that Santa Claus came down that cardboard chimney. Uh, that was the best. <laughs> Mom, you always used to say a mother is not to lean on, but to make leaning unnecessary. So I lean on Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He's my right hand. And when I was a little girl, everybody would say to me, um, when you grow up, what would you want? And who would say they want a big house? And who would say they would want a big car? And I would say, I want five kids just yeah. like my mother. I love you, Mom and Dad, and God bless you another 50 years. <laughs> Mom and Dad, I'm your real favorite child. I just want to say, I love you very much. I feel like I know you all my life. <laughs> and uh, thank you for always being there. The speech maker right here. To my mother and father, what can we say to our parents who are always there for us? And the only words that we can think of are, thank you. And with that, I wrote a little song. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thanks for the memories of mom and dad Cav. They have five little lads. They all grew up to be unique adults, you see. We thank you so much. Thank you for being there when we were crying. We thank you for wiping our behinds. We thank you for the little things you do. 
We thank you, yes, we do. So thanks for the memories. My father always worked. He pressed a lot of coats. He went from job to job just to support his folks. We thank you so much. My mother would stay home and do the cleaning. She cooked, she washed, and cleaned. And when she returned to work, she would file, type, and still clean. So thanks for the memories of that Easter morning brunch. We did not have a lunch. We sat around all day and munched and munched and munched. How lucky we are. Mom, thank you for making the fatan. <laughs> it really goes well with super side. And thank you for the pies that you bake. And Dad, thank you for the money that you make. So thanks for the memories of the Christmas holidays. My mother would slave away, soaking the buck a lot and stuffing the calamari. We thank you so much. My father would clean the calamari while my mother was cooking the buckala. We would all sit down to eat and enjoy this delicious treat. So thanks for the memories. I hope you enjoy this song. I better move along. It's nice to know you have a family like the Cavs. We love you so much. Peace, love, happiness, and health to all. Chidan. Thank you the memory of sentimental birds. Nothing I've heard was a lovely little one. Thank you the memory of Schubert's serenade. Little things of Jane and traffic jams and anagrams and bills we never pay. How lovely it was. We who could laugh over big things were parted by only a slight thing. I wonder if we did the right thing. Oh, well, that's life, I guess. I love your dress. <laughs> I just want to say, believe me, when Joey was a little boy, he said to me, Mom, take me to a psychiatrist. I can't talk. He, said, he, did, he says, I can't talk to anybody in, in school. They sent for me. He could never open his mouth. Same thing with Michael. Michael didn't progress too much. His work is in his hands with the art. He's not one to express his feelings. But God bless them all. I love them all. Celeskis are here. I don't. She goes again. Get the mic, John. Take the mic and let him take up there. Lee, look at us. Call the memory of sentimental verse nothing in my purse and chuckles when the preacher said for better or for worse how lovely it was go ahead um, say something here sister thanks for taking our how picture michelle you look beautiful say something and Teresa and uncle mike